Hi everyone. Welcome to KL Artistic. Today I am going to do a different pour, but first I'll show you my paints. So I've made up a couple of these colours, um, but I'm using today leftover or old paints that I bought in Aldi quite some time ago. So they're called Creative Artist Collection Acrylic Paint. So they're just an Aldi brand here at our local grocery store. Um, they're acrylic, they're actually quite nice, but I do have other brands as well. I thought I'd use these up because they're quite old. Um, so the colors I've made is an orange, and I used with that, I used cadmium yellow and Scarlet Lake, this one here, with this. And I just did a little blob and a blob until I got the color I liked. Um, the yellow is obviously the cadmium yellow. Um, this dark red here is crimson, which is this one here. It's a nice deep red. It's almost pink. I would prefer it to be a bit redder, but you know, it's okay. Um, this one here is Scarlet Lake. It's more of a bright red, so I mix that as well. The back ones are just Titanium White and Mars Black in the same brand. And then the gold is this one here, Chromomatic gold. It's a nice deep colour, rich, thick. Lasts a very long time and I just got that at my local art supply. It's quite blingy. It's pretty. Um, I'm going to paint on, I will show you, These little numbers. So it's a craft or cardboard crafty little box that I bought years ago and haven't used. And of course, I've taped the inside and I have also gessoed the outside with white gesso. You can probably see it somewhere in here. And then yesterday I decided to paint over it with black just in case the colors run off. I've never done this before so this is a whole new whole new world, whole new experiment and you're coming along for the ride with me. So I plan on layering my cups in these cute little numbers. I don't know where I got them from. I've had them for years. Um, again, <laughs> they're 80 mil to the top Australian measurement, um, which is 20 mil per tablespoon, so four tablespoons. And I'm not sure what that is in ounces. I'll try and work it out and put it in the description box for you or in the writing on the screen. I'm gonna set up and put some gloves on and I'll be back soon. Bye. A bit of yellow. No. I might do a teeny tiny bit of white first. And then I will do a little bit of gold. Try and keep the um, red and the white away from each other because they can cause, can create pink and black and green don't, black and yellow don't like each other either. So it's going to be tricky.
So I'm going to paint on the base bottom one first and that way if I don't like the paint and how it's coming out I can change it for the top one. Here goes nothing. getting it off the oh that cup is cool okay so it's not coming down so it needs more paint but it looks pretty cool it will keep moving though like a deep deep red rose it's not halloweeny at all doesn't look halloweeny but it's cool very cool alrighty I'm going to put it aside let it continue to run and I'm gonna get the lid ready I'll be back in a minute okay so this one, I have scraped up the stuff underneath, which was absolutely beautiful, and put on the top, and it is so shimmery. I don't know if you can see it, but it's um, really pretty. It's made like a bronzy color, but I've done that to cover the um, lid, so to help the paint flow over. Um, so it won't stay but I just thought I'd show you even though it's brown and yucky the shimmer in it is so pretty
Look at this thing. I did make sure everything was even, but had a bit of movement around since I put it in. <gasps> so pretty. I don't like that black bit on the front though. But I have another cup, so I'll get rid of that. So this one's covering all the sides really well because it's a lot shallower um, and I've wet it. <laughs> Lost my composition, but this one I'm just covering all the sides, making sure that's actually pretty cool. Anyway. Right. I've got the other one poured, so I may as well do it. And, um, wow, that's pretty. That is so pretty. I'm gonna bring you down and show you a photo close up of that, because that is so cool. Very, very pretty. There's no silicon in this. It's just my pouring medium, which is 70-30 glove, 70-30 PVA glue and water. Um, because of the heat here at the moment, it has, is a bit runnier than normal. So I'm thinking about changing my consistency a little bit, but that's really pretty. And you know what? I'm not going to put the other one on because I like it. I love this. I really hope that stays. It is moving and it's all covered, which is good. And this is the top. So I'm actually quite happy with that. I think that's really, really cool. I'm going to leave that as it is. Fingers crossed that it um, dries really well and doesn't split or crack. It is a cardboard box, so I don't know what it's going to do. Little craft box. I did gesso it but I've not done this before, so we'll see. I hope you guys like this. I will try and show you a dried result, maybe not in this video, because then you'll be waiting and waiting and waiting. Um, and sometimes my stuff takes a while to dry, but it is getting hotter here, so things are drying quicker, which is also a problem sometimes, because things crack. Alrighty, I've got a bubble, but I'm not going to, torch this because it is a cardboard item and I just don't want to risk it so and I don't want any more cells I love it exactly the way it is I hope you guys like this I will show you the top and bottom together um, I've just moved the other one and I don't really want to touch it right now but it's covered all its sides beautifully and it looks really good and I'll show you a picture of that as well alrighty guys I hope you like this I'm sorry there was a bit of a wait between videos I've had a bit of a busy week here, babysitting animals. And um, I hope to have a more regular routine soon. And um, I haven't forgotten about the 100 subscriber celebration. Um, it's coming very soon. So make sure you stay tuned. Alrighty. Thanks very much. And I'll see you for now. And if you like it, please subscribe. It helps me and it helps everyone else. And I hope you like it. I'll see you later. I'm waffling again. All right. Bye.